the dopamine treadmill and turn down the notches a little bit. What you got, Swede? I only popped on for a couple seconds to because I didn't want to type this whole thing out. But uh, there's a popular thing with angel investors called a charitable remainder trust where you can say drop your entire wealth on. So say you got $100 million, it gets invested, you get the income for the rest of your life that comes off of it. And when you die, it gets reverted to whatever charities you put together. So, you know, Hassan could have easily have done this, put 700,000 down, lived off 35 grand a year off of that, and then whatever else he's making with the Young Turks. And then on top of all that, been able to buy a house of what he just did. And, and then create a system where the charities can either borrow against or wait until he passes to use that type of funds. It's a it's a really pretty cool thing. And again, he's a grifter. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Sweet just fucking drops knowledge and demonstrates how, like, yeah. No, he spent three and a half. He's he spent three and a half million dollars on a fucking West Hollywood McMansion because his ego, his because his dopamine receptors demanded it. That's all. And that's actually one of the ways that people recommend uh, lottery winners to protect themselves is that you, if you have the entire.